this video, we are going in search of suitable alternatives to one of the most popular soups eaten in West Africa, the Egusi soup. If you come to somebody's house, they prepare this and give you, you might feel like this is just Egusi soup. Egusi soup is a legendary African soup that is made from melon seeds. But do you know that there are other soups that look and taste exactly like Egusi soup? Well, today, you will see two Nigerian soups that you can mistake for Egusi soup anytime, any day. For the first soup, we travel to Abala Kingdom. So I'm at uh, one of the most interior part of Delta State. A community in Ndokwa East local government area of Delta State to eat a very rare soup called Itetele. Abalo Obodo and Abalo Ono collectively make up the Abala Kingdom, which is located at the northern part of Ndokwa East local government area of Delta State. Uh, welcome to Abala Kingdom. Thank you. Thank you very much. This town is a beautiful and serene place to come to when you want to be in complete tune with nature. The Abala people are mostly farmers and fishermen due to the abundance of fertile lands and rivers in the town. Abala is also home to one of the biggest philanthropists in Delta State, Chief Dr. Christopher Iwale, known as the Odogu of Abala Kingdom. So you can see the environment. It's a very beautiful place. When you are here, you are close to nature. I came here to film two of their most important dishes, Ofe Tetele and Osan. But this video is all about the heat hotel. Honestly, as we are coming here, my brother, this place is far. It's far because it's the first time you are coming here. Okay. Like, we, it's not far. We normally pass it. Uh, it's your village. Yes, yes. It's not. It will not be far to you. Yes, but it yes, will be, yes. It will be far to me. Yes, Honestly. because this is the first day you are coming I'm coming to this yes. place. Yes, you are right. Ofe Tetele is prepared using a special type of seed known as Itetele by the locals. I've never come across this seed before, so I don't know anything about it. If you know anything about these seeds, kindly tell us in the comment section. The Itetele is the most important food in Abala Kingdom. Okay. The Itetele seed looks and feels exactly like melon seeds or Egusi. The only difference being that the Itetele seeds are smaller in size when compared to Egusi. So I won't be surprised if the two plants we are related. This soup is the most important soup to the Abala people as this is the soup they cook ceremonially, especially when they want to thank the gods of the land. As you know, you know we Abala people, we are traditional people. Oh, yes. Okay. We normally do tradition. Okay. Yes. We normally use it if we want to do festival. You know, we have one festival they call Ulo. Ulo. Yes. Okay, that festival you must cook this uh, itetele. Yes, yes, we normally cook it in Ulo. Mm -hmm. Or if we want to serve our gods. Okay, I want to understand. So, this is a soup that you normally use to maybe pray to your gods? Yes, we normally okay. use it. Yes. Okay, I want to know. Yes. Do you use it to do maybe something like a uh, Traditional marriage, burial, and all this. No, 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 no. It is just for serving the gods. Yes, or the festival called the Olo. Olo Festival. Yes. Okay. Ofoi Tetele is so loved and cherished by the Abala people, such that it happens to be one of the reasons their people in diaspora come home during their festivals. This one is a Igbenu. My journey to this place was not an easy one, so I hope this soup will be worth the effort. The ingredients you need include the Itetele and crayfish. You need to grind them together to a powder like this. You will also need palm oil, dry fish, onions, ground dry pepper, bitter leaves, seasoning of your choice, and salt. Start by chopping some of your onions. Now put a pot of water on fire. Add some palm oil and your chopped onions and cover to come to a boil. When it starts boiling, add your ground itetele. Mix very well and cover to cook for 15 minutes. As the soup is cooking, pick and wash your dry fish and set aside. After 15 minutes, add your fish, pepper, seasoning and salt. Stir very well to combine and cover the soup to cook for additional 10 minutes. You can adjust with more water if necessary. After 10 minutes, wash and add your bitter leaves. Stir very well and cover to cook for 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, your ofe itadale is ready. The preparation of this soup took less than 45 minutes. Alright guys, so here we have the Ofe Itetele. Okay, it's time for us to eat this soup and I will tell you guys how it tastes.
Wow. Eyes <laughs> the soup. Wow. Wonderful. <laughs> so guys, uh, look wise, this soup looks exactly like a goosey soup. A goosey soup that is prepared with bitter leaf. Okay? Then taste wise, it's also similar to the taste of regular egusi soup prepared with bitter leaf. But there's a little bit of kind of a funky taste I'm getting from this itatele. I feel like it tastes like a goosey that has a little bit of fermentation to it, like a fermented kind of a goosey. It's not much and it's not bad. Okay, it's really, really nice actually. But if you have not eaten it before, if you eat this soup, you would not know. You will feel like this is a goosey soup. It's just as soft as when you prepare a goosey, just like a goosey. There is no difference. Just that little funky taste that if you are not, like if you don't have the kind of sensitive taste that I have, you might miss it. I like if you come to somebody's house, they prepare this and give you, you might feel like this is just a goosey soup. So to me, I feel like this is just a goosey soup. And I, I noticed that they did not add any meat inside. It's only fish. Yes, we normally use fish. You know, because in our village, we normally get fish. Okay, yes. okay. So anybody, if you want to use meat, you can use meat. Yes, you can use meat. But this village, we normally get fish. Okay, so here in Abala Kingdom, they are riverine people. So they have fish a lot. So I think that's the reason why they did not add meat yes. inside this one. It's just fish. It is made with fish and then the tetele and some other green ingredients. But overall, this soup is very, very nice. Do you like crave for it again? Of course, it's just like melon soup. It's not like a goosey. But I think, uh, I don't know if it has any special health benefits that you get from this. So you guys can tell me in the comment section if you know about this itatele. I don't even know the English name. I just know it as itatele, the way I was told here. For the second soup, we headed to the eastern part of Nigeria to eat another rare soup that can be eaten in place of a goosey soup. This soup is called Ofe Sesa. Ofe Sesa, as they call it in the Boeing state, is a soup made from Beni seed. This soup is also eaten by the Thief tribe of Beniwe state, where it is called Ishwa soup, and in Kogi state, where it is known as Igogo soup. People like Ogoja, they are using it, but the way they used to prepare their own is quite different from how easy people do prepare their own. Oh. Because they regarded it as their special soup. Okay. And uh, yes, exactly. So you people, your own diff part it's different. Is different, quite different. It's not the same. But irrespective of its popularity, Isisa soup holds a special place in the heart of Izi people in the Boni state. Isisa soup came up right from the time of our our ancestors. Okay. We make use of it, especially during uh, our festival, so-called Ojiji. Ojiji festival. Yes, okay. Ojiji festival. Likewise, known as a uh, New Year festival. Yeah, festival. Mm. Okay. Therefore, by preparing that uh, of uh, Esesa soup, our wives always like to make use of it. And whenever after preparing it, if you have a special visitor, mm -hmm. whenever you table it to the person, you know that actually you are the original yeah, okay. zip. Of course, <laughs> okay. that is how it is. The ingredient needed to prepare this soup include Esesa or penny seed, onions, palm oil, stock fish. This was soaked in water overnight. Egg, garden snail or apakoro in easy language, kanda or cow skin, crayfish, bonga fish and chicken. Start by pounding the isisa to a rough texture. Transfer the isisa to a local grinder called okwa and grind till it becomes smooth. You can skip these steps by simply blending the isisa. When a smooth consistency has been achieved, add salt, raw egg and onions and grind till the isisa starts releasing the oil. At this point, knead the isisa with your hands and form rough balls of isisa with it. This will give the soup a distinctive texture. Prepare your chicken. According to the locals, it is best to roast your chicken because the smoky flavor is loved by the people. Wash your snails and boil for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, sieve out the snails and using a needle, separate the snails from the shell and set aside. Put some hot water in the pot and put it on fire. When the water comes to a simmer, cut and wash your kanda and put them into the pot to cook till soft. When the kanda is well cooked, add your isisa, 
palm oil, dry fish, salt, and seasoning of your choice. Cover and allow to cook. After 15 minutes, add your stock fish and bonga fish and cover to continue cooking. After 10 minutes, pound and add your crew fish and stir to combine. Also add your roasted chicken and cover to cook for additional 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, wash your snail very well and add to the soup. Taste and adjust any lacking seasoning and cover the pot to cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, your Owe Isisa is ready. Okay guys, the food is here and it's time for us to eat this Isisa soup from Izi people in Ebony State. I will tell you guys what I think. Wow, <laughs> this is nice. This is nice, guys. This soup, to me, it tastes like a greasy soup. But I feel like the Benny seed is a little bit harder than a goosey. I normally eat a goosey. The goosey soup is a bit softer. The feel is softer in the mouth. But this one is a little bit harder. But it's delicious. It also has a nutty taste. I don't know if it's from the way it's prepared, but the soup has this nutty taste to it. But overall, it's a very, very delicious soup. So for that, I'm going to take off my cap. <laughs> do young people, all these young girls, do they still know how to prepare this? Soup? <laughs> In this modern age, some young girls or boys don't normally like to eat this extra soup. They always like to eat something like uh, what the other soup is short, like a goosey soup. Okay. Yes. So this one are no more preferable to the young uh, young boys now. Ah. Uh, exactly. Okay. Okay. Why are you Why are you doing the fufu like that? It is because it's our own tradition way of method of eating. Okay, you must do it like this. Yes. <laughs> Let me try that it. That is our culture. Okay. Does it make it taste any different? Yes. It gives us a, a joy and different uh, taste. Okay. Let me try to eat the fufu like the Z people. It does not give it any different taste. It's the same thing, but it makes the, the ball of the fufu round, uh, more round. It makes it easier to go down. Mm, that's all. <laughs> the two soups in this video provide very suitable alternative to egusi soup. So if you are allergic or tired of eating egusi soup, you can try these two soups and thank me later. If you love this video, like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification button so that whenever we post food content like this, you will be the first to know. And always remember, eat to live while I live to eat. I am Mr. Epic and see you next time.